this icy situation over the next uh, couple of days, you're definitely going to want to have that app in the palm of your hand. All right, Kim, our other top story here tonight at 10, Detroit City Council set to vote tomorrow on a land transfer deal involving the Detroit International Bridge Company. The engravement was signed years ago. It's legally binding, but protesters in southwest Detroit are urging council to include protections for homeowners. Priya Mann joins us live tonight, and Priya, they're worried about losing parts of their community, really. Well, Christy Devin, that's a big concern. They're also worried that a third bridge could be built, that Riverside Park, where I'm standing, could be impacted, as well as streets that surround the Ambassador Bridge. I do not want this land transfer to go through without a community protection benefit agreement in place. Activists and homeowners in southwest Detroit protested next to the wall that separates Ambassador Bridge traffic from their neighborhood. The concern is them taking more land. The pollution. I need my kids to have fresh air. We don't need so much traffic. They want city council to vote against a land transfer they say will negatively impact Riverside Park and St. Anne Street. The concern is they're going to start blocking streets and they're going to start displacing residents. And we just need to stop it. It's been going on for years and we're just all frustrated by it. It's got nothing to do uh, with St. Anne. It's got nothing to do with any threats in terms of neighborhoods being upset. This is only about the park. City Attorney Conrad Mallett says council is legally obligated to follow through on the agreement signed in 2016. All we need to do is have one council de declaration. This deal closes out and we in fact keep our word as an institution. I just don't know why that's not important. What do we want? So there's a real fear of a third bridge, their second span to be built, um, and that's what community is fighting. We are tired of being ignored, of our health being seconds, um, and residents are truly afraid that the bridge company will continue to encroach in the neighborhood um, and displace people as well. And I just really need the city council to step up, put some protections in place before this land deals go through. Now, we did hear back from the Detroit International Bridge Company in a statement. They write the question before council tomorrow is whether it should vote for the city to perform the agreement or it should vote for the city to breach the agreement. The city law department has opined that if the city fails to complete the transfer, the city will be in breach of the land exchange agreement. That vote again set for tomorrow at City Hall, and of course, we will be there. Reporting live tonight at Riverside Park, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, thanks so much, Priya.